A six-month-old baby who was born in Bangladesh is brought to surgery about one week ago. He started with chorizal symptoms. His mother reports he has not been feeding well for the past two days and has started to vomit today. Her main concern is a cough which occurs in bouts and is so severe he often turns red. No inspiratory or expiratory noises are noted. Clinical examination reveals an apyrexal child with a clear chest. What is the most likely diagnosis? He does not have fever. He does not have any wheeze or wrong chi in the lungs. No breathing noises. But there is a typical cough which comes in bouts and so severe that he turns red. This is typical of whooping cough or pertussis, I think. There are vaccines for this. However, maybe the vaccination um, program in Bangladesh is not that well established yet. So the answer is pertussis. The inspiratory whoop is uncommon in patients this young. Whooping cough pertussis. Okay. Parents bring their four-week-old formula-fed infant to the short-stay pediatric ward. They are concerned because he has persistent non-bilious vomiting and is becoming increasingly lethargic. Despite this, his appetite is substantial, on examination appears pale, and you can see visible peristalsis in the left upper quadrant. What is the most likely diagnosis? So, a four-week-old short stay in pediatric ward persistent non bilious vomiting so the obstruction is above the duodenum increasingly lethargic because the duodenum is where the bowel duct enters the intestines so this has to be above um, his appetite is substantial, so he still has an appetite. It was pale, there is visible peristalsis in the left upper quadrant, so you can see the peristalsis of the stomach. This is typical of uh, pyloric stenosis. This the answer is pyloric stenosis. Visible peristalsis can be visualized as the stomach tries to push its contents past the obstruction. The vomiting is non bilious as the level of obstruction is proximal to the second part of the duodenum where bowel enters the gas GI tract. It is on contrast to mal rotation and duodenal atresia. Okay, usually occurs around this age now, four weeks. Typically presents in the second to fourth weeks of life. Okay, next. A 62-year-old man with chronic kidney disease secondary to diabetes mellitus is reviewed when assessing his estimated GFR, which one of the following variables is not required by the modification of diet renal disease MDRD equation. Uh, how do I remember this? Uh, I think H is required, serum creatinine is required, ethnicity is required, gender... Is gender required? I don't know, forgot. The answer is ceramuria. Oh! EGFR variable CAGE Creatinine H gender ethnicity Creatinine H gender ethnicity Okay, good mnemonic. So usually you want to calculate something, can go to MedCalc or something. Yeah, MDCalc, not MedCalc. And then you can see everything here, so it's not worth memorizing in real life. So you can see what's included is the gender, the age, the creatinine and the ethnicity the MDRD equation for estimation of GFR okay so the one not included is serum urea okay next question theme is scoring system used in medicine okay 
So these are the scoring systems for each of the following. Please select the appropriate scoring system can be used to evaluate anxiety level. GAD is it? No. Uh, let's see what else. The anxiety level. HAD is. What is HAD? Something anxiety depression. PHQ, patient health questionnaire. Smith scale, what's that for again? MMSE, no, this not for anxiety. Machin, I don't know what's that. Chow Pew. It's for liver failure, isn't it? Not sure. Up guys for newborn babies. Baxter. I don't know what is this. Curb 65 is for pneumonia. Epworth scale is for what again? I don't know. I'm gonna guess HAD. I think Epworth is for sleeping uh, apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea, if not mistaken. A scoring system used to assess the severity of liver cirrhosis. Chow Pew. Assess uh, the health of a newborn immediately after birth, Apgar. So it's correct. PHQ 9 only assesses depressive symptoms. HAD. What does HAD stand for? Hospital Anxiety and Depression Scale. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this. So we're going through. Alright, just go through, I guess. So that next time I come across these kind of questions, I have more ideas of what each of the score means. Charts VASC used to determine the need to anticoagulate a patient at atrial fibrillation. ABCD2 prognostic score for risk stratifying patients who have a suspected TIA. However, in NICE guidelines, they don't recommend using ABCD2 score anyway anymore. You remove uh, whenever you suspect TIA, you just refer to a specialist stroke unit within 24 hours. Don't use ABCD2 to restratify. Okay, NYHA is New York Heart Association for Heart Failure Severity. That's 28, I think it's rheumatology one. Rheumatoid arthritis, measure disease activity in rheumatoid arthritis, RA. Child pill classification, scoring system used to assess the severity of liver cirrhosis. Well score, so you got the DVT well score and the PE well score, right? Helps estimate the risk of a patient having a deep vein thrombosis. In NICE guidelines, you have uh dvt well score if more than four is likely dvt uh and then for pe well score if more than one is likely pe so there are different uh, scoring criteria for each of these uh, mmse is mini mental state examination used to assess cognitive impairment had hospital anxiety and depression skill accessibility of anxiety and depression symptoms phq is patient health questionnaire assess severity of depression gaad used to as a screening tool and severity measure of generalized anxiety disorder edinburgh postnatal depression score used to screen for postnatal depression scoff uh, questionnaire used to detect eating disorders and aid treatment audit alcohol screening tool cage alcohol screening tool fast alcohol screening tool fast is also for stroke right uh, curb 65 used to assess the prognosis of a patient with pneumonia at with sleepiness scale used in assessment of suspected obstructive sleep apnea IPSS international prostate system score symptom score Gleason score indicates prognosis in prostate cancer APGA assesses the health of a newborn immediately after birth I believe A is for the appearance or the color either pink or peripherally cynos or uh, all, all over cynos P for pulse rate above a certain level below a certain level or no pulse at all G stands for something I don't remember Apgar that's it's worth going through because it's quite important A stands for appearance or activity here appearance this one looks nicer. Appearance, uh, pulse, grimace. G stands for grimace. Zero points if floppy, one point if. This is the best resolution I can get. I can't read a thing here. 
uh, uh, one is for grimace and two is for sneeze or cough or pull away loud cry la. the second A is uh, the two A is activity and appearance right just now you mentioned appearance the second A will be activity so either active or arms or legs flex or no tone at all and R is respiration uh, good and crying uh, is full marks slow and irregular respiration is not good uh, this one point and then no respiration is zero point for Afghan score okay that's worth committing to memory bishop score used to help assess whether induction of labor will be required uh, okay la, let's go through bishop score because I don't remember really Bishop score, total score is how many already? 16 is it? Oh man Which one is reliable? Hmm I mean, Let's look at the... Um, let's get a general picture just get a general picture of what it is so there are a few um, parameters you want to look at uh, through the cervical examination you are gonna assess the cervical dilatation the more the dilatation the higher the score uh, effacement the more the effacement which is how thin the cervix becomes the higher the score baby station so how low the head baby's head goes into the pelvis mm, the lower it goes the higher the score consistency so the consistency of the cervix if it's the softer it is the higher the score and position of the fetal head right posterior mid or anterior anterior is the highest score Okay, just a general picture. Next time we'll try and memorize the detailed one. Ranson uh, Frex, where were we? Bishop, water low score, assess the risk of patient developing a pressure score. SOAR, uh, Frex is a risk assessment tool developed by WHO which calculates a patient's 10 year risk of developing an osteoporosis related fracture or also known as a fragility fracture, which is a fracture where you, where you get from falling from height from your height 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 <laughs> from your height level and below Ransom criteria acute pancreatitis must is for malnutrition okay next question next question what's going on it's not moving Next question. Next question. Hmm. I guess it's stuck. Oh well.